Baby Lee here. Hope everyone had a great week. So for this video, I'm going to be unboxing some wine and tasting it. So I'm going to be opening my first ever box that I've ever had with Wink. Wink is a wine subscription box that I just recently discovered. And what it does is it, it you can choose from a variety of different wines. They're at a discounted price. You can take a quiz based on preference of taste, what kind of wine you like, all that kind of stuff. And it's really customizable and you can always swap out which wines you prefer and which wines you don't want. Um, so it's really easy to use, super user friendly. But I figured why not taste the wines I chose from this month and let you guys know how they are and you. Yeah. So um, a little bit of an issue. So I just recently moved a few months ago and I don't have a wine opener. And as you guys know, we are in quarantine, so I can't go out and get one right now. <laughs> so there's gonna be a few different ways we're gonna try and do this, but it's gonna be fun because that's also something you guys could use, you know, if, if you don't have a wine opener and you need to open a bottle of wine while you're in quarantine, this may be a video that'd be helpful for you. So let's do it. So I got three different kinds of wines. I got this red blend, I'll show you here, and I'm gonna put a link down below of Wink and then also the names of every bottle that I'm trying right now. But this one is called Rosa Obscura. It's 2017 red blend. I am not, I don't have a huge preference between red or white, but I definitely lean more towards the red. <laughs> but uh, I don't eat meat, I only eat fish and veggies. So re <laughs> red wine, so, red wine is not good with fish or tofu. I mean, tofu is fine, but not with fish or, yeah, fish or seafood. It doesn't taste good. I've tried it once because I didn't believe it and it just ruined the meal. It's really bad. I am not a wine ex expert, but I'm excited to try these. I chose this one based on the reviews it has. Um, it tells you on Wink the type of ingredients that are in it, the, the, um, specific taste buds, like some of it could be super cherry, have a, a taste of chocolate, stuff like that. This is not gonna be an issue for me because it's a twist off, which is, we love a twist off for this moment. But this one is called Outer Sounds, which is a super cool name, and B. Let's see if you can, the picture on it is really cool. It's 2019 Sauvignon Blanc. It's from New Zealand, and yeah. So this is a white. We're gonna try this one as well. And then the third and final contestant is a savant, savantage. I don't know, it's called this. I'm gonna put a little title right here. Then I'm gonna say it wrong and look like an idiot. But this is from France, it's a rosé. We love a rosé. And it's 2018, this has a cork in it, so we're gonna have to figure out how to open this. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a little sip of each, let you guys know um, in real time how it tastes. This isn't like sponsored, I'm not getting paid to do a video. I thought this just, would just be something fun to do. The first one we are gonna try is the white because it is a twist off. So, by the way, welcome to my kitchen. You have seen, um, if you guys have seen my apartment tour video, you'll see that this is in it as well. I will also put that somewhere here showing you um, which part of that video and also, I don't even know what I'm saying, showing you my full kitchen. So this is just a little bit of it. But um, yeah, while I'm opening this, I just moved here to Baltimore, I'm not gonna say where, but I just moved to Baltimore uh, January, I wanna say. And it's been awesome, but I haven't really gotten to explore the area that much just because uh, for the past month, month and a half, I've either been focused on school, doing an internship, or also being stuck inside. <laughs> So it's kind of a bummer because you know you move into a new city and you want to explore everything but you can't. But this has really been a time for me to focus on myself, on my content. It's been really fun for me to do, dedicating this time to just doing anything and everything that I want and finishing school. So yeah. So being in this class, this class I think I got from Amazon. Wow, I was supposed to do a taste. Scratch that. I pour some out because I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just have a glass. I'll have three glasses. 
then it will be able to do anything. Okay. So the one thing I actually wanted to do was go to like a a winery. Because they say you should go like this. I don't know what that means, but this one's really good. I'm gonna say that about all of them, but never met a wine I didn't like. This one. It's really sweet, but not too sweet. That's what I'm gonna say. Because I am a sucker for a sweet wine. Um like a Moscato, like those that's really sweet or <laughs> um I know, I'm trying to think of another one. But Moscato or anything sweet like that, kind of if you ever had it or if you didn't, it tastes like, it literally tastes like grape juice. It's that sweet. So this one, I, it's like not that level of sweet. It's not grape juice level sweet, but it's good. All right, now I'm gonna have my boyfriend taste it. He doesn't wanna be in the video, but I am gonna ask him really quick, so one sec. Results are in. <laughs> Just, um, so, Will, I call him B, but B rated it as an 8.5, which is pretty good. Um, he doesn't really like sweet or overly sweet, but this one is like a good medium. So if you're looking for a white that is not dry, but is a hint of sweet, definitely check this one out. So this one I'd say is a winner. Now, onto the challenge. <laughs> like, I don't know how to do this. One time I used a knife, I remember. I think it was like my sophomore year of college. I don't even know. Sometime in college, I used a knife. Did not work out. Never use a knife, never works out. The cork always falls, it's just not good. So, I looked online, there's a few different ways to do it. Um, we're gonna have to do a attempt these. But yeah, this one's really good, the red. I mean, sorry. The white's really good. Okay, so we're gonna try a few different ways. If the first way works, we're gonna do it for the second, obviously, but if not, we'll see. So, all right, so it says stab the cork with a knife. We're not doing that. Unlock the cork with your car keys. Grab your car keys, just one metal key, and you can wiggle out a wine cork. Push your key at a 45 degree angle, then the cork until almost of the key is in the cork. Then push the key around in circles while pulling up. The cork will start to screw up and eventually twist free in the neck. All right, so let's try it. Keep our car keys. If you don't have a car, I would say, I would suggest doing your apartment key. I think any kind of key that works, but who knows. So we are gonna try this. It's at 45 degree angle, which like that. Oh no. I'm like not strong at all, so we'll have to see. So I'm basically just jabbing this sucker in here. And then I'm gonna do a little bit deeper because what you don't want to happen is you don't want. You don't want the cork to break. We're putting this many keys on it. Okay, and then it says circular motion. You're supposed to pull up. No, it's not working. Is it? I'm like, what? All right, we're just gonna have to take these keys off. I mean, these things off. This is too much of a distraction. So, super key, super forcer, put your heart in here. I'm totally messing this up. This is not going well. Okay. Push, and push the key around in circles while pulling. That's what I did, yo. Nope. 
That's what it did. It didn't do anything. This one did. Maybe I'm just like not that strong. I'm gonna do a different one. <laughs> so I'm gonna like slap it on the wall. Use a string. Not sure about that. All right, this one which I thought would work is use a screwdriver and a hammer. A hammer I don't have, it's not, it's in my boyfriend's apartment right now, but this is a, a screw. I'm gonna put it in. Put her in here. You have this. If you go to design school, you will have to be using one of these. I forget the name of it. But no. Hold on. Did not work. I just don't know what to do now. It pulled out a little bit, but I think I had to push it down more. Okay. Car one, fail. This one, we're gonna try again because I have faith, I have hope. Problem is that I don't really have a screwdriver, which is what I need. So I'm actually gonna put a coupon code down below for Wink. I have. Like I said, this isn't a paid anything, but I have slapped with them. So why not save some money, right? Okay, now I put it in a little bit deeper. Try and see, I don't even know what to use. Maybe a fork? You know what I do? I have a bottle opener, but this is not. Yeah, that's like not gonna work. She's cute though. Like slowly. It's like slowly working, that's all I can say. I might need Will to help me with that one. Let's see this one, okay. No, it's totally gonna work that one, it just didn't leak. Okay. I 
It's working for sure, it's just slowly. So, this one worked. Screwdriver, fork. No, no, sorry. Screw, fork. Use it. Don't give up. And you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, this one is the rosé. It's good, but it's on the dryer side. I'm not a huge, huge fan of dry, but I like it. I like it. So the first one I would give, I give it a nine out of 10. This one I would give a seven or a six and a half. Six and a half, okay. Now let's see what Will thinks. Okay. So Will gives it a 7.5, he likes it. Um, but I think we both like the white better, just cause it's a little bit sweeter. But, if I do the last one, which is red. Okay, same attempt. We're gonna do it. This is a red. It is um, called Rosea Obscura. 2017 red blend. Let's do this. This is definitely safer than doing a, what you call it? Using a knife. And also, you get the fork out. You don't want the fork in. Okay, second attempt. Definitely worked again. This one was a little bit tougher, but this is a new thing that if you don't have a wine opener, use this trick. Screw, fork, or if you have a hammer like the other side, but. Okay, so this is the red. Let's see. Ooh, this one's really good. It's not too dry at all. It's not sweet, but it's more of like an in-between. More towards like, <laughs> it's not sweet, but it's not dry, so it's, I would say it's definitely in the middle. Okay, so <laughs> Will gives it, stop. <laughs> stop. Will gives it a nine. You give it a nine? Yeah. Okay, so Will gives it a nine. It's, I think it's a good in-between kind of blend, but so that was all of them. You had the white, the rosé, the red, and that's it. But a little bit more about Wink, you will see in the description below. Um, you can use my coupon code to save some money. And so definitely check Wink out. And cheers guys, have a great rest of your weekend. And hopefully everyone's staying safe and is healthy. So thanks you guys so much for watching. See you next week.